Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another LEGO Super Mario for Series 5. This is the Fuzzy Flippers expansion. Uh, so this is doing more stuff with Mario World. Um, or, I, it's actually seemed to be a very unique one. I don't really recall this as much. Um, I remember the Fuzzies, were, which is the black guys here. Um, I love that they have different faces as well. One's one direction, one's the other. Um, I do remember them being, I think they appeared in Super Mario World, but I don't remember them being that big of a presence as much as they make. But I'm guessing they also didn't want to just release like 10,000 Goombas and Koopas. So they're trying to use some of these other enemies a little bit differently, especially ones that have gimmicks like this, where they're spiky on all their sides. Um, so we're going to have Peach take a look at this set. So this is actually kind of cool. Uh, so first off, we have this little mushroom, which is a new uh, thing they started adding in the peach set, are little mushrooms. This one's actually spring-loaded. So that's kind of fun, so you can kind of bounce off it. It doesn't do anything outside of that. Um, and with these things being on there, that, that prevents her from like sticking to it, which is kind of neat. Um, yeah, just the actual little spring let you can boing. Get a little extra bounce without you having to do it as much. I'm going to pop that off and out of the way. So we can look at this a little bit. I like that we have another cloud world as well. So I also have this timer block. Which doesn't do anything. Unless we start the course. So if we grab our... Here we go. Do, 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 do. And then if we hit a timer block. It's going to give us an extra 30 seconds. Now we're up to 79. Do I hit it once? And if we end our course, we got our peach flag, of course. And we earned one coin because I just beat a Goomba quick just to end that. Alright, I just wanted to show that. I'm just going to slide that off to the side here. So we can look at the main features. So what we have here are two different paddles to jump on. So basically, I was supposed to start out with your fuzzies are like this. I can't attack them. They're sharp. What you do is you have to hop on these. Try and flip them over. And now I have that one exposed. Now if you hit them hard enough, you can send them to the other side. And then you gotta keep bouncing them back. And that's how you beat the other one. Alternatively, you could grab a second character. Like a Mario. Which that says Luigi's pants on. I just realized I swapped their pants out. Um, if you're playing two player. You can each join in and do different stuff. Now, if you have them connected... You can get more points and they'll talk and a little interaction like that. But this is kind of a neat little mechanic. Um, just go to send guys over. Um, and then how it is on the back is it just has this. That little like uh, pads in here that kind of hold them together. And they're just built into the back of them as a black piece. So you can easily like... If you bought some of these or if you want to, you can add a different enemy in here if you wanted to. You just have to take out that one black piece out of here. You could throw uh, fire guys in here if you want to do uh, the little fiery dudes. I don't have one sitting here. Um, you know, or whatever else you wanted to. So that is another option as well. Um, yeah, this isn't a very long video. There's not a lot of extra mechanics here, but we do get some neat extra little pieces. Um, we get some more... More, uh, fuzzies with a cool little mechanic. We get an extra time block in case you didn't have one. Which is also nice for this because if you've been collecting, uh, since the first set with Mario, um, some of these sets, you know, it's like, oh, I have, I have the question mark box. I have it. I'm just getting more. I don't need six time blocks. But that's what also makes this game neat is because someone could be picking this up right now from Series 5 not be able to find some of the earlier sets very easy. This gives them an extra chance to get this extra time block or get um, some of these extra enemies or things they wouldn't have had. So it's definitely a neat thing to do. Plus the cloud world is kind of cool. They haven't really explored that too much. Um, 
But there we go. So that is the Fuzzy Flipper set. A little tiny expansion, but definitely fun if you want some extra things to add on. Uh, especially a two-player there with the boop-boop. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!